Training a service dog may seem impossible, but some dogs are up for the challenge. MTN's Caitlin Agulis takes a look into the different world of service dogs. Learning how to be a service dog can be rough. But for seven-month-old American Bull Staffy Boulder, the work is in his blood. His dad was a service dog and both sets of grandparents were service dogs. So that's how you know that they're going to have a good temperament for it. Psychiatric service dogs like Boulder are nothing like emotional support animals. A service dog is trained to perform specific tasks that helps mitigate a person's disability or challenges. Hundreds if not thousands of hours go into this training. Um, an emotional support dog does not go through any of that. In 2019, Riggs and his organization, as well as other organizations, helped pass a law in Montana that would help protect people with disabilities, as well as businesses regarding misrepresentation of service dogs. It is now a misdemeanor in the state of Montana to put a vest on a pet and bring it into a hotel and try to pass it over as a service dog. Boulder has been training for this job since he was three months old, learning commands in a different language so he doesn't get distracted while on the job. Boulder listens to commands in German, like Sitzen, Platz, and Ear. Boulder, Ear! Under the Americans with Disabilities Act, service dogs are classified as medical equipment. This isn't to take away from the fact that they're living beings, but because service dogs have a job to do. Honestly, people shouldn't go up and disturb them. They're working, whether they're in training or already trained. They need to stay focused on their task. As for Boulder, he still has a long way to go in his yes, training, but he's eager to help his handler. I mean, it's a really big process training a service dog, and like, not anybody can do it, and not any dog can do it. In Butte, Caitlin Aguilas, MTN News.